I live in the small, sleepy village of Knapp Hill in Buckinghamshire. Some would say that very little happens here. It's full of ordinary people going about their daily lives. The village has the usual annual events, such as fates and fireworks. But I wanted to investigate whether anything or anybody significant to the history of our country has links to my village. My story starts with a simple tree. This tree is located outside the village hall and by the playing fields. It is passed every day by hundreds of people. Every Christmas it is decorated with lights and has become a stunning local feature. It may look ordinary and just like any other tree, but this tree has history. In many ways it represents our country's freedom because it has a direct link to World War II and to someone who was crucial in Britain winning the Second World War. The tree is an Atlantic cedar donated in 1935 by a man named Alfred Dillwyn Knox, or Dilly for short. But who was he and why is there a plaque? Dilly Knox lived in Knapp Hill. He was a true war hero and his job was the chief codebreaker of the early part of the Second World War. So who were the codebreakers and why were they so important? During the Second World War, which took place between 1939 and 1945, Germany believed that its secret codes for radio messages would never be understood by the British. The Germans were using a machine called Enigma. This machine allowed them to communicate very important messages to each other without the British being able to understand. The machine enabled its operator to type a message then scramble it using a letter substitution system. It was very complicated. To understand the message, the person needed to know the exact settings of the Enigma machine. However, to make it even harder, the German code experts were constantly changing the settings to make it more difficult to break the code. The Germans were trying to attack Britain from the sea and air. They thought that because their plans were secret, they could attack ships, buildings and armies without the British being aware. This would mean that many lives would be lost and significant damage would be done to Britain. It was now more important than ever that the British could find out the coded messages and understand where the Germans planned to attack next. Before the war, in 1937, Dilly Knox had made the first British break into the Enigma machine at his house in Knapp Hill, called Cornswood, on Clappins Lane. He also broke the first German Enigma message in January 1940. Because he knew how the Enigma machine worked, he started to crack lots of German messages. He and his team continued to do so in the early years of the war. Dilly thought that women suited this kind of work best. He trained up a new team of ten women, two of which became expert codebreakers themselves. This work was the breakthrough that the British needed. They were now able to understand what the Germans were planning to do. Since managing to break the first code in that pill, Dilly and his team managed to crack over 140,000 German codes during the course of the war. The secret work of the codebreakers cracked the German wartime communication and played a crucial role in the final defeat of Germany. During the war, Dilly Knox unfortunately became ill with cancer, but despite this, he continued his secret work from the house in that pill. Dilly died on the 27th of February, 1943. 
Whilst he was alive, and for a long time afterwards, his family did not know of his profession, nor of his outstanding contribution to the war effort. Dilly is buried in Knapp Hill, and a stone has been placed in the woods he planted near to his house. It has been estimated that Dilly Knox and other code breakers shortened the Second World War by at least three years, and of course saved thousands of lives. The tree Dilly donated, which came from his woodland, was planted during the special holiday given in celebration of the Silver Jubilee of King George V on 6th of May 1935. It stands tall and proud to this day, reminding us we should not forget Dilly Knox.